this week we have the straight out of iCast brand new Bass Mafia dangerous swim bait and let me tell you this thing is awesome it's good to look at out of the water and it looks really good in the water this is the six inch version and how I like to rig it is on like a little underspin um, that's my favorite way to do it a lot of people will just put a simple like jig hook through it or they will just put a Texas rig through it or just a kind of a swimmer head through it something like this um, this here just put that straight through it but I like the underspin it gives it just a touch more action um, and I will show you what it kind of looks like um, just rigged up here so how I like to do it is this is a Guggen underspin so there's the spinner and here's the screw so what you do you put this up to the mouth like so and you just screw this thing on there and that way you're not really hurting the um, the lure because you're not putting the hook through it you're kind of just screwing it in so it keeps the lure from breaking on and this lure is really durable just because it's not soft plastic it's like the mixed mixed plastic I don't know how to like describe the actual plastic but so then you get that rigged up like that um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up through the hook little spot here that right through the belly and I'm gonna pop it up like that and we're just gonna push it up through the top of its back and pop beat it through till it pops out like that so then it's actually kind of weedless too because when you're rigging it and swimming it it's going through the bottom and this part is going to hit the bottom and the spinner is going to hit the bottom and the hook is just sitting on top so it's weedless but when that fish actually does strike and you set the hook that hook is definitely going to go through them so that's kind of what it it looks really good like this um and you'll just kind of have to feed it through like that just so it get that hook a little bit more exposed but yeah you really you're looking for a head eat like this um, for them to eat it like the head but another thing i find really cool about these um these swim baits the coloring is crazy so this is they call it texas gizzard shad but to me it looks like a rainbow trout and there are like a few and far between rainbow trout in my lake um so that's kind of what we're going with um is that coloring just because it looks it looks really good um in the water it looks all like a rainbow trout and then you add that extra flash of the underspin and it looks even better um i like how it's a little bit it's like that soft hard plastic so it's way more durable than any soft plastic swim bait that you're gonna have but it's almost more realistic or more um it's not as scary as some of those hard bait swim baits like the google glide baits and that kind of thing so i would definitely go give them a look um bass mafia and then I think they just came out with a new uh, spoon. I think it's called the Big Larry Spoon. Um, definitely go check that out too. I have never gotten into spoon fishing, so I don't have it yet, but I might order it. If you guys want me to order it, then drop a comment um, and I'll order it. So yeah, this is the new Dangerous Swim Bait straight out of Bass Mafia's um, release. So yeah, I would definitely go check it out. Um, check out all their storage and all that they have really good storage um containers that's what guggen has been partnering with for a long time those bass mafia coffin crates um, they look really good um especially in that guggen green color but yeah i really like how they almost it's a guggen affiliate so they kind of copied some of the things they do like that eye looks really sick i really like their logo the bass mafia logo is sick and then that little yeah this is a really cool lure uh, the fins, they do a really good job with the fins. Um, yeah, it looks really good. I think the one thing that they could have done better, but it's not really a big deal, is like make this tail more of like a realistic looking tail instead of the paddle tail. I don't really like the paddle tail of it. That's like the one thing for me that I don't like, but it still puts really good action in the water, especially behind the underspin. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe because we are on the road, or at least we're trying to be, to get to 300 by the end of the year. Something I'm trying to push. So yeah, please subscribe. Um, comment the next lure you guys want to see. I got a couple more lure videos coming up, and then we'll get on what you guys want to see next. Um, yeah, we're going to keep fishing out here on my lake. Uh, yeah, so subscribe, comment, like the video, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week on the Outdoor Fever.